time to get real. Alright, well, we're going. Uh, he wants to. Grr. Alright, it was, it was Warhawk Search and Destroy. We were down 0 and 4. We. And it was a good game. We were being good sports about both sides were. We came back ending up beating them six to five, I think it was. And it was good sports. I had to go. So did Murray. Murray got off for the night. I had to go do some stuff. I come back on just a few minutes ago and we get to sit here and everything's chill. Like we thought we were chill with them. Well at least I did. So I'm talking with them. Not necessarily talking with them, but talking with y'all, but after Vulture started getting messages, I'm like, really? After y'all win one game, one game after spawn trapping and calling us trash, yet y'all got, like, we made a comeback on them. Pretty much. We beat them. We were leading We were leading 2-0 on them before me and Murray had to go, and everything was chill. Like, the first game, they got disqualified on Search and Strike Octane because Gifty himself was leaning. That's Murray why he's mad. Blood That's blood. why he's mad. He was like, he was calling me a bitch and everything that I was, uh, that I reported, like, not reported, but I said something about the, him leaning, and I wasn't even the one that fucking said anything about it. It was, it was damn darn Murray, and he targeted me with the message, like, why don't you send that to Murray? And, like, he just, ever since then, he's just been sending me messages nonstop, just saying how much, saying how bad we are, and, you know, just to go ahead. Fucking yeah, and he's mad about it. I want to. While we were in the spawn trap. While we were in the spawn trap. While we were in the spawn trap, you still managed to pull a dag on Jimmy. On them fools like it. Yeah. One thing that gets me though is that I hate this hypocritical stuff of how everything. They'll be like, yeah, good game and whatnot, but the second that they, we start losing as a team, they want to start trying to taunt us, try to talk trash, try to start showboating. And what gets me is that he would only target Vulture. Like, if you're going to mess with a team, at least send a message to everybody. That way, say you could have four people on you. Like, I understand that y'all won a good game. Y'all won, congratulations. At the same time, what he did was unnecessary, so. I mean, if we had... Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Yeah. All right, but anyways, guys, all right, listen, uh, listen that uh, since he's recording, I'm gonna say this. There's a YouTube video on my channel. It's called Gifty is a Random. Go like, favorite that, and uh, guys, it's in the party right now. L O N G B O A R D N I N J A S. One word, no caps. You know what it is, er day. <laughs> er day. Hey, hey, no, but, hey, Twitch, hey, go watch the video. You'll see how I was there because he just said that. All right, and I like it. Like it, it and favorite right it. And subscribe to me. But anyway, yeah, today's been a good day. I'm just kidding. Uh, 
uh, between proteins. Uh, I hope Skump listens to this video. Uh, honestly, I think what Skump did was unnecessary from leaving. Even though they were losing and him and Hshot had a like a battle who can get more viewers and everything. I mean, it's still down that like it's almost like the best team in the world. You got the best players. Not necessarily the best players, but like Smarter and Skump and Hshot are both good players. And uh and Ricky is a good player and I just find you know what I just realized? I talked all that shit and I didn't have my mic on. That was awesome. <laughs> I'll talk shit again. I don't care. I don't care. I will talk shit again. Cause no, no, we ain't redoing it. We're just gonna keep going. But I still, I, I want to reiterate, like what you guys didn't hear. YouTube was. I'm not a pro player, and I'm not even. I'm not even a competitive player. I don't do scrims. I don't... I. This is the team that I'm talking to that I manage. Like, I manage the team. Like, I don't play on the team. And I just scrape some fucking amateur fools who think that they know their god almighty fucking pimp shit. Their shit don't stink. So, I just want to say, if you guys do happen to watch this, Freiburg, Gifty... Whoever the fuck else was in there, fucking suck my nuts, lick my chode, fuck you. That's all I gotta say. Go fucking, go, go, dude, I don't care. Go, go choke on, go, go choke on my big, big baby penis. I don't care. Dude, it's crooked as a dog's hind leg and you can still take it. You know what I'm saying? I know this isn't my usual stuff, YouTube, but I'm pissed. I'm like, I'm, I, I want you guys to see the other side of me. And if you, if you want to hear these rant and raves more often, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe to my fucking shit because I'm, I'm pretty shitty. And they, they talk shit so much that Vulture left the game, and I was like, fuck it, no more cap and flags. I'm just gonna run around their spawn and scrape these fools because. They have not guaranteed you, have not been playing COD as long as my old ass has. So, yeah. Twitchy will give you guys a free... No, never mind. Scrape that. Anyway. No, but anyways. Uh, he said my YouTube channel and I said that uh, I have a video on there calling Gifty a Random. Oh, no, no, no. They They heard that. They heard that. They heard that. They heard that. They just didn't hear me asking you quite. Anyway, back to the pro, uh, pro fucking roster changes. Uh, from, like, what do you think about who who is Embo's gonna pick up now? Cause it's basically it's basically just Embo's right now, unless he's picked some people up. Well, well, and, if you look at the free agents, I don't know who the free agents are, but from a video that I saw, it was uh, Embo's and uh, a couple other people. I don't know. But uh, I don't know, he's probably, I don't know, it's either a matter of uh, a major team dropping someone and then them picking them up and then the other person that they drop be the, you know, be the free agent. But uh, I think uh, Embos is done for the season, to be honest. Yeah, I, th I think Embos is a little butt hurt right now because he basically has no team. Because, 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 because Optic has Ricky now, which was, which was Unite Ricky. And... Dude, I think uh, one other the one other of their teammates left and went somewhere else too. And then, dude, Killa has to be butt hurt because he doesn't have Parasite anymore to fucking play with his butt. Because, dude, 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 him and Killer were like stuck up each other's ass, dude. Like stuck up each other's ass. Like hard to get out, stuck up. You know what I mean? Like. Twitchy, you know how you quit a kid about a reach around for me? I think these these cats were actually giving each other's each other reach arounds. Like there was like a secret gay love there. There had to be. With without, without you, Twitchy, they were doing this. Like they 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 were tickling each other's chode, scrotum, you know, hey, you still got your foreskin, let's dock with each other type of shit. That's that's what was that was what was going, and now, and and now, Parasite broke up with Killa, and I guarantee you, he's crying. He's like, "I'm gonna fucking mollywop that fool." Oh God, 
There's so much, dude. If you've been reading Twitter, dude, there's so much beef with the pros right now. It's not even funny. Scump and Nade. Like I think, I, dude, I love Nade to death. He's a good player, but I don't think this fool could fight. And I guarantee you, Scumpy, Scumpy would just like wreck Nade Shot. Like if it came down to, if it came down to it, I think Nade Shot would get his ass just like stomped. Like there would be no chance. Be like it'd be Scumper Jumper making a mud puddle out of Nade Shot. Like oh, Scumpy naded Nade. Like fuck, what the fuck happened? I want to see it on main stage one day. Just two pros just going at it. Just like UFC style. Just fuck each other up. Real life gunfight. Them actually shooting each other. <laughs> Except no guns. Just fists are flying. Oh my lord. One thing that doesn't get me though is that everything, if I've read Twitter about it, and a lot of things is pinned on Nate about how I saw one where. Uh, Post from Scumpy, the day that he left actually was from him saying, "If it wasn't for Nade, I'd still be there." So I don't know if there there was con. I guess that there was. You you want to know? No, you want to know? You you want to know why that is? Because behind the camera, Scumpy wasn't doing shit, and Nade would call him out on it. Nade would call him out, be like, "Hey, you're not practicing. Hey, you're not doing this. Hey, you're not doing that," and it was pissing Scumpy off. Like. Dude, if you're if you're not doing the shit, why don't you fucking instead of leaving, how about you man up, grab your fucking nutsack, and fucking put your and put and put your grown up panties on, and do something about it. Like fucking practice with the team, do your shit, dog. Like, fuck, contribute to the team. Don't just fucking whine and bench and moan. Do your fucking part. Quit back. You're not a child anymore, dude. You're living on your own. You're not a child. Grow the fuck up. That's all I gotta say. I respect all the pro players. I mean, the good players. Don't get me wrong. They deserve to be where they are. They deserve to have what they are. It's just that, in my opinion, they get too cocky at times, and that eventually can lead to fighting amongst the team and or team roster changes, as you see right now. Because it just goes to show you, one little roster change between a big team causes, like, every single other team to pick up somebody. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Like when, like when they dropped Merc, they shouldn't even drop Merc. They should have been like, "Hey, you know, like let's figure this shit out. Like, see what we can do." Now look, look at that. Scumpy's back with Merc and Rambo on the same team with Goonjar and Proofy. Yeah. And Rambo Ray is fucking coaching Envy. Come on now. Yeah. You ain't beating Envy this year. You you ain't you ain't you ain't beating Envy this year. I'm I'm just saying like you're not beating them. Like they got a stacked team right now. Look at Goonjar stats every game that he's played. Look at fucking Proofy's stats at every game he's played. Look at fucking Scump sc Scump stats. Like they weren't that good with Optic, but I guarantee you they're gonna boost up with Envy because now he's pumped to be playing with fucking. Uh, Proofy, Rambo, and fucking Merc, and Goonjar. I guarantee it. My, one of my, I think the top teams that we would see in the final, in my opinion, probably have to be Complexity and Envy. I think uh, you want to you hear my semifinals? Yo, what would it be, bro? It, it's going to be, it's going to be TK, oh. Complexity, Envious. Yeah. If if E girls if E if if E girls do get as good as they did at UMG Philly, it's gonna be E girls. That's gonna be the top four right there. That's gonna be going into semis. Top four right there. You know, also I'm kind of uh, curious as to see what team, what new teams that we might have not have seen or and have heard of yet might come out because back last year at COD Championships, not a lot of people have heard about the Frigo team, but the second that they got onto that main stage and proved to themselves, they made some noise, so it's kind of... Oh, yeah. Yeah, who, who are we going to see? Who are we going to see on the 28th? Who are we going to see? 
One of my concerns also is FaZe, because I know FaZe picked up JCap, so I want to see Op I want to see Envy Optic versus FaZe. So, because uh, I want to see, I just want to see JCap go at it with either Nate or Scumpy. Like I think that would be really good. Well, we saw we already we already saw it once with uh, UMG Philly because uh, Optic Optic's first game. Who were they against? They're up against Phase. First game is Optic versus Phase. Phase took them out, but maybe not this time with Optic's new roster. I don't know because. Because so I've been watching some streams and the way Optics have been playing, they they've been stepping up their game with this new roster. Yeah, they're practicing a lot more. I've noticed that. I know that I can usually. I, I watched them at one point. I think it was at like two a.m. in the morning. They were still streaming. They was still on. Parasite got off because he was tired, but Ricky was still there and he dropped back to back sixty bombs. And I'm like, Ricky's a pub stomper. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But then, 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 then you got then you got old school cats like me that fucking like I've been playing COD since I could remember. I can remember, dude. I wish it was back that far, but Xboxes weren't out then. So I started out. I started out on the original Sony like gray PlayStation, like. <laughs> You ever played the original Grand Theft Auto? The original? Like, the first Grand Theft Auto? It's like, it's like satellite view. Like, looking down at you. And you're fucking running around on the street with, like, satellite view. Like, it's just a top, top view of you. That's it. Stealing cars and shit. But then I, then, then I heard about this Xbox that was coming out. And Halo! Oh boy, me and Halo. That that was the days right there. I was just fuck. I was just fucking kids up with a shoddy, with in Halo, and then I bring that Halo jump to COD. <laughs> oh, people get pissed off in pubs. This ain't Halo. It works. Actually, like playing some pubs right now, sitting here. It works. But anyway, anyway, YouTube. That was. I had to record this discussion because, you know, we were just, we were pissed off and we had to blow some steam off and I was laughing my ass off at what Twitchy and Vulture had to say and, anyway. If we want some cookies, like, it's whatever, I mean, <laughs> Like, hey, I got, I got a Twinkie maker, you know. I, I hit 100 subscri- Hey, hey, I get 100 subscribers, you know what? I might just make a whole batch of Twinkies and send them out to my subscribers. You never know. Ye yellow, yellow, yellow cake Twinkies with chocolate pudding in the middle of them. Dude, they're amazing, I'm telling you. They're fucking scrumptious. They're scrumptious. Hey, hey, are you still recording? Yeah. Alright. Let me give a shout out to my thing now. <laughs> they, I'm in the chat, dude. They can see your mic go off. <laughs> dude, no, no. Do, 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 do Rachel for my subscribers, yo. All right. Lately, it's not been that good because, you know, I'm 34. I've hit puberty a long time ago. But anyways, I'm going to try it. Hey guys, it's Rachel. What's going on? Like, I'm just here to game and oh. game only. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, can, hey, can I do an outro with the girl voice? Yeah, you can do an outro with the girl voice. Go ahead, man. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hey guys. Alright, 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 alright. Go ahead. Hey guys, this is Homie, and I'm here to tell you all just subscribe, favorite, and like. Dude, dude. I said some stupid shit. Whatever. Hey, yo, hit that like and subscribe button, you know, if you want more of this. Alright, this is homie. This is homie. Peace. I'm